this is Yolanda today. I'm going to show you how to make this little punch tin luminary candle holder. Here's the handle. And uh, this has a tree outline. I don't know if you can tell. But it is just kind of a cute little thing to do. I hope you can see the tree. And we'll get started. I hope you have fun. Okay, the supplies you're going to need is your hammer, your can, some wire, wire cutters, and pliers, or if you have a jewelry kit, you can use a much thinner um, wire, and then twist these with here. And we will begin. Hello, this is Yolanda, and to make the can uh, luminary. The first thing that you're going to want to do, I already did it ahead of time, is to get your tin can, clean it out. Um, this had kind of a little bit of a sharp edge here, so I got some wool, still wool, and some um, sandpaper, and kind of just softly sanded this down, the rim, so you want to get cut. There are some um, pan openers that cut through the side, so there is no chance of cutting yourself. What you need to, what I did to make it easier to do, I filled it with some water and I put it in the freezer to freeze. To begin uh, the design, you can just do random um, holes. You're going to need a good sized nail with a nice sized nail head on there, and then I'm going to be using, of course my hammer, my nail, and this is this is a can that I'm going to be using during the Christmas holiday times. So I just got a cookie cutter, Christmas card, and I um, just traced it throughout the little tree. Or else you could also just do a, a design. Your can has the water in there. It might start uh, spilling a little bit. A piece of paper here on the tip is where I will begin. And it's going to go in pretty easily. And you can see the hole there. I like to do my ends first. Do another one there. Another hole. And the ice keeps the pan from collapsing, so you can do all your designs. Another one here. And you just outline it that way. Sorry about that, the dog is barking at something outside. So, as you can see, I have traced out uh, the design of the tree. I just put my, you can either do the dots, but the marker wasn't working really well. Just trace, outline your tree. When you put in your candle, the light will be shining from here and you'll be able to see the design more. The ice did kind of crack. That's okay because you're just kind of, kind of trying to keep the can from collapsing too much. And then, if you want, you can do another one in the back, and you can do as many as you want around. You don't want them too crowded where you can't tell what the design is. So that's my first tree there. Okay, so here is my little strip of wire. I had a, a loop, and I took this out. And you want to kind of shape it around the can just to give you that. Your little look like it's a handle. Like this. Like this little bit there. So you want it to look like a handle. Pull out a little bit here. So you can see what I'm doing. I just wrap it around the can, just make it round. And now, on the three holes we have here, 
we're going to stick and round it out here and then on the other side there's no exact measurements I'm going to make it look that way I'm going to stick in my handle to one of the three holes and then I'm going to stick the other part of the wire there and then I'm just going to get some tweezers some, I don't know if you tweezers or pliers or whatever they are I'm going to just kind of make this kind of like a crazy circle design there just to keep the wire from coming out if you have a jewelry um, kit you can use that too it helps kind of turn it around I'm just kind of twisted just in a way that it's going to come back out. Okay. If you want, you can make it really fancy or pretty. I'll probably kind of tighten this up with the um, jewelry kit. I'll go get it. And you just twist it up. You want me to twist it up. Now, we're going to empty out the can and do the finishing touches.